the passing out parade for the British Army's newest and youngest professional soldiers. A proud day, one that will always stick in the minds of the men and women marching off the square. And that's something I know personally. Almost 20 years ago, I too passed off this square at the end of my basic training here at the Army Foundation College. I've not returned to Harrogate since I left, but kindly, the chain of command has allowed me to visit my old platoon lines and even to spend time in my former bed space, the precise location of all those late nights and early morning inspections. Yeah, wow. This like hasn't changed at all. This is exactly... OK, I mean, you can see 20 years has happened, but when I was here, it was pretty much brand new. And, uh, and my bed space was right here next to the door. And uh, lockers, so locker inspections, getting them trashed when they're not good enough. Yeah, I, I, this is why I spent a year just learning to be a soldier. Abraham was the first soldier and Williams was the last. And because my surname's Wharton, I used to stand literally by here. So when Corridor was shouted, this is where I'd stand. And you know, the corporals would come out and shout at us or whatever. But yeah, I spent a year standing here basically, um, 20 years ago. Feels really weird. Like I experienced, these soldiers will go on to colourful and adventure-filled careers. But what changes, if any, have the recruits and their parents noticed as they've progressed through basic training? Mum and Dad, can you notice any changes in Jay today, here at the end of this process, compared to when you dropped him off 12 months ago? Absolutely. I mean, just even listening to him now, he just sounds so much more grown up than probably he would have done a year ago or even a few months ago. I think every time we saw him at each holiday, you'd notice the progression, how much more mature he was. And I know when he says he catches up with his mates, there's a huge difference. Um, yeah. yeah. And on that, you've must, you know, you've, you, you, you've left school, your friends, they, I'm assuming not many of them joined the army like you did. No, no, Can no. you sort of compare where you are today to where perhaps some of those friends of yours were? No, I, I've definitely matured a lot um, compared to them. Whenever I go back, they're still doing the same thing that they would have done even if I was there and it wasn't really that fun. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely a lot better being here. Starting here, obviously, you know, nervous and not too sure what to expect, but obviously now passing out. Um, it's a great day for my family, myself. How, how is it to be on the phone as a parent when your son's in basic training? Obviously, it's really hard and he's so far away from home, but he's he's just been so amazing and he's just kept going and going and going and he's changed in the 12 months from when he first came here to, to now he's became a man in that 12 months it's just amazing so passing out parades at Harrogate are considered among the military's most prestigious that's underlined by the guest list the roll of honor of those attending the event to offer their support today it includes the chief of the general staff general sir patrick sanders thousands of proud parents and a prominent forces champion i've been coming here for a few years and it's the most amazing place, not only for its educational facility, but also for how it turns out young men and women into their future lives. And, and I've always kind of been impressed by what they do here. So it's always an honor to come here. You know, as they pass off today, they go into their units or their battalions and corps, and they, they are the backbone of our society. I've always said this, our armed forces are the backbone of our society. What lies ahead for these young soldiers, time can only tell. Deployments, friendships, challenges. Some may have long careers, others short. But it will always be the memories of basic training and of completing it that will stand out as an achievement nobody can take away from them. James Walton, Forces News, the Army Foundation College in Harrogate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.